before I got into my like very recent relationship that ended, I was healing uh, from a very, very abusive relationship. And um, then I was just slowly putting myself out there. And this guy just swooped in, like by the second date, asked me to be his girlfriend. And I was so overwhelmed, you know, and like I just put myself out there. I was so super overwhelmed. And when I said no, like my automatic response was no. And then he was sad and he was upset and, you know, all that. And then like I started thinking about that out of pity and all that. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's give it a shot. Um, but then when I think about it now, post breakup and all of that, it's like, what do I really want? Like, okay, I want somebody to go out with. I want somebody to talk to. Uh, I want somebody to have sex with. And I want ha- I want somebody to, you know, go, go on trips with, for example. Like, Talita posted this thing where I related so much that, you know, the next relationship, I want sex and trips. We're just going to be coming and going. And I love that. <laughs> I posted that literally everywhere. I loved that so much. Um, so, and then I was wondering, okay, if that is what I want, can I actually find that with the person without the relationship tag? Is it necessary for me but to don't be you in a relationship? But don't you feel that's a situation ship? What you're asking for? Because you're hoping for I, potential of a relationship, but you don't want the label. You don't want the attachment. You don't want the questions of what you're doing, not, not doing on your off time when you're not together. But you want to go on dates and you want to hang out and you want to fuck each other, but you don't want to be boyfriend and girlfriend yet. I'm just asking. I'm playing the devil's advocate. Is that not what it is? I mean, I hate to use that term. It's so, it's so millennial, whatever you want to call it. But I mean, I guess that's what they call it nowadays. Well, let me. I don't. I've never like experienced a situation ship, so I'm maybe it is if it fits the it bill. Is. I don't know. Um. So, yeah, I don't really understand. Like, that's not something that computes here. Like in Sri yeah. Lanka, I've never really heard of that. Um. But yeah, I mean, if that it is, like, I would just prefer calling it because it even if it doesn't like materialize into a relationship, and we both just decide, okay, you know what? Yeah, we had our fun. Let's stop. It's fine with me. So. Because like I am the type of person who gets attached like emotionally really fast. Like if yeah. you're just taking all my boxes and you're also like, you know, genuinely interested in getting to know me and stuff. I'm like, oh, like, what is he doing? Or like, I want to talk to him, you know, like, like that. So I just don't want to do that. I think that's also like part of trauma because like when something happens to you and, you know, you, you go to that period where you just you shut down like I also shut down like to lead us up. like I shut down like I don't want to talk to anybody like even like my guy friends if they reach out to me and I'm like no like I don't want to talk to you at the moment I'm sorry um so like that I'm like kind of like shutting myself down to all of that I'm trying to because I mean there's nothing wrong with attachment but like I don't think it's healthy to be attached too fast so now I just make it clear to the guys who talk to me, like, you know, and this is actually a question that I want to ask you. Um, is it okay if I mesh that in here or yeah, yeah. not? Well, yeah, well, well uh, yeah, we'll just finish this topic then, we'll, then you can ask your question. So, yeah, anybody, so anybody, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so like, you know, I just feel like, yeah, maybe it's a situation ship. I don't know. Like, as long as I'm not hurting anybody or they're not getting you know, hurt or like, I'm not going after like a man who's taken or whatever, like anything goes at the moment. Um, but definitely can't be like sleeping around with like 10, 15 guys. I would prefer to have that one guy that I go to for all of that. Yeah. I know, I know Talita mentioned the, the friends, the fuck buddy, the friends with benefits. You know, you know, that never works out. Ever. No, absolutely not. Somebody always, always, some, somebody always, catches, someone feelings. always catches feelings. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It never works out. Never works out. So, and also with it's the situation. It's a good idea, but it's never good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice to just take advantage of it, get as many fuck buddy <laughs> sessions as, as much as you can before he catches things. <laughs> it's, like, it's five punches and that's all you get. Yeah, you get, you get five punches. <laughs> so get those five punches in. <laughs> but I would say with the situation ship, right? So whenever I meet, when I do meet people where they say they want everything, they want everything that comes with relationship except the title and the commitment, right? You know, usually when I when I meet people like that, when they, if they if that's what they're looking for, it's usually because they just came out of a bad relationship. Most like most like ninety nine percent of the time, right? Because usually if you're if you're, if you're healthy, when you look for a partner, you are looking for a commitment and a title, 
right? But if you, what I've noticed that when men or women, when I, when I meet them and then they say, oh, I want, I want everything out of a relationship, I don't want the title, then I know, oh, something happened. Something happened because the last time you committed to a person, the last time it was official, it didn't work out. So you don't want to go through that pain again. So it's, it's much easier just to get all the benefits of a relationship, but not get make it official, like get the commitment because if, you, if it doesn't work out, you can't relive that pain from the past. Yeah, that's exactly where I am. Like, yeah, I just yeah. don't want to go through that again. Like, yeah, I can't. So, have... Just find yourself a fuck buddy. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't I'm do working it. on it. <laughs> working on it. 